All right. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's matchup between the number 11 ranked Boston University Terriers and the Connecticut University of Connecticut Huskies. I'm Seth Hellman, joined by Owen Gund. Owen, the game just starting here, so we'll get your takeaways in a minute, about a minute into this game now. I'm sorry for the late start here. UConn controlling the puck in the offensive zone. Shot on there, saved by... Vinny Duplessy, Duplessy doing a good job of stepping in this season with the injury to Comesso. Yeah, Duplessy, you mentioned, he's the only goalie active for the Terriers this afternoon. So he's done a good job stepping up, but he's got to stay healthy here. And this Terriers team's going to rely on him heavily this afternoon to stay healthy, stay engaged. This game being played in Connecticut last night's game that was supposed and the Yukon Husky score early. Looks like that was Berger who ended up putting it in the net. Weird bounce there. Not quite sure what happened. Yeah, it looks like it got tipped on the way in. We'll have to uh, went off a of BU defender skate. We'll have to get another look at the replay, but Looks like it was a tough, tough shot for Duplessis to read and uh, not the start you want if you're Albie O'Connell. Yeah, Campolito parked in front of the net there and it just took a funny bounce off of him. Turnbull may have been there as well. Carriers control the puck in the neutral zone, but they give that up. That one skated by Howarth, brings it into the zone, controlled behind the net, sent up to the point by the Huskies, shot on, saved by DePlessy. Defenseman being very active offensively for the Huskies. Get a quick little break in play here. Owen, what are you looking for tonight? Well, for the BU Terriers, they need to continue to have that next man up mentality. Without Jake Wise in the lineup again, we thought we were going to see him back. No David Ferentz and no Drew Comesso. So really for BU, keep having that next man up mentality and uh, keep getting that depth production, both on the offensive side and on the blue line. Jamie Armstrong, Sam Stevens, and Marcus Bogoslavsky, the forward line for the Terriers. Vlasic and Jarman, the defenseman. Jarman clears it out into the neutral zone. It's misplayed by the Husky defenseman, but he picks it up in his defensive zone and controls it behind the net there. Sent up the ice now into the neutral zone, but shut off by Jarman. Now sent back to Vlasic by Master Simone. Excuse me, that is not Master Simone. I believe that's Bogus Lat. Ooh, no, that's Armstrong. Intercepted at the faceoff dot by Steven. Steven sends it right back to the faceoff dot. Shot on there. Good save by Vimaka, junior goaltender with a 916 save percentage for the Huskies. Huskies 8 8 and 2 this year, contrasted with the Terriers who are at 8 2 and 0. Oh. Terriers sitting at second place in Hockey East right now. UConn in fourth. Terriers just a half a point behind. Boston College. And that's a big story, right? Uh, BC had a big battle with Maine last night where they were able to eke out the 3-2 the win. And this is being based on that complicated, happy uh, hockey East uh, power index situation. But BU right on BC's heels, but they got to take care of business today if they want to stay in contention for that top spot. And Terriers did split the season series against Boston College so far with one win and one loss in that weekend. But Eagles higher ranks always going to have that better spot in the power index. UConn controls in the neutral zone. They skated up, try to get across the blue line, but a man went offside. They now control it still in the neutral zone. Shot on from the point. That one gloved down by DePlessy. He'll freeze. Vlasic and Jarman will be the defensive pair. Tuck Skoog and Master Simone. Young guns on the second line for the Terriers. Terriers line up Logan Cockrell, Jay O'Brien, Max Kaufman on the first line. Tuck Skoog and Master Simone on the second. Corsia, Zabane, and Peterson the third. Armstrong, Stevens, and Boguslavski the fourth with Jack DeBoer as the extra skater today. Terriers control the puck behind the zone or behind the net. Looking to get it into the neutral zone. Bit of a whiff on the clear there by Master Simone. He fights for it behind the net. 
Picked up in the corner by Tuck. Looks for a man, sends it up into the zone. Terriers will have a two-on-one if they hurry. Master Simone and Skoog. Skoog takes it. Gets shut off behind the net. Master Simone picks the puck up, tries to jam it in. Might have gotten a shot on, didn't matter. UConn controls in the neutral zone. They try to send it up into the Terrier zone. They do played there by Case McCarthy. It's a good pressure there by the Master Simone line. Skoog and, and Master Simone showing some good chemistry recently. Uh, and hopefully these Terriers lines can stick here. Corsia, Zabane, and Peterson out now for the Terriers. UConn. Crosses the blue line into the offensive zone. That one's fought on by Capone. Still in the corner now. Picked up along the half wall by the Terriers. They managed to clear it all the way up out of the zone. Good pressure there by Peterson. Unable to get anything with it. He was almost able to seal the puck on the forecheck. Now controlled behind the net by the Huskies. Here they come through the neutral zone. Terriers will change fourth line out now. Stevens tries to glove it down in the neutral zone. That one picked up by Kuznetsov. Not Evgeny of the Capitals, but he's on the ice with the same last name. DeBoer with it in the, in the offensive zone. Whistle. Referee takes a tumble. Not sure what happened there. We got a stoppage. Kuznetsov playing left defenseman, sophomore. It looks like we had a save by the Maca on the shot from Armstrong. Armstrong, Stevens, and Bogoslavsky out there alongside Fensori and McCarthy. Excuse me, that's Fensori, or no, that is McCarthy and Jarman, I believe. McCarthy takes a shot on from the point. That one saved by the Maca. Might have been redirected out in front. BU doing a better job here getting some shots to the net after a shaky shot uh, start for them, but they need they need to get more net front press and get get some better rebound plays here going in the early start here. Just over five minutes into this first period, UConn already leading the Terriers one nothing. Fensori now steps out onto the ice, face off tied up and won by the Huskies. They control in their defensive zone and dump it out into the neutral zone. McCarthy fighting for it, gets his pocket picked. Here come the Huskies, tries to send it out in front, saved by DePlessy. Awkward shot there by uh, Tverberg. Good pressure from the Husky third line to steal the puck from McCarthy at the blue line, try to get a shot on. Gatcomb, Schlein, and Tverberg. The line for the Huskies face off one by Schlain over O'Brien shot from the point. That one saved skated on now and blocked out of the zone by the Terriers. They have it in the neutral zone here. Tried to Cockrell tried to have a nifty move there. He lost the puck and the offsides is called on the zone entry Terriers in all red today. Huskies with gradient navy blue to gray jerseys. Looks like black pants and gray socks. Kind of a clean look there. I'm, yeah, I, I, I have to say the, the reverse retro Canucks gradient jersey, I'm not a huge fan of, but these are not bad. Yeah. They debut those last night or Thursday in that Winnipeg game. I'm not entirely sure when they first wore them. I know that I saw them beginning of the season. Wasn't super psyched about them. The Bruins are debuting their um, yellows. Their yellows tomorrow in the outdoor game against the Flyers. Should be a good one. Terriers control the puck in the offensive zone. They're wheeling it around. Held in at the point. Then turned over on the half wall. Good hit by Tuck there. O'Brien tries to step up and take the puck, but it gets dumped into the offensive zone of the Huskies, and a whistle was called. Looks like we're going to get just an offside stoppage, perhaps, maybe a high stick or a hand pass. We will take our first break. 
1356 remaining in the first period. Huskies lead one nothing. And we're back here with first period action between the Boston University Terriers and the University of Connecticut Huskies. Huskies on the power play. Penalty to Luke Tuck. Two-minute minor. Huskies with an already one nothing lead. Face-off won by the Terriers. Center around the half wall and cleared up and out of the zone. Played behind the net by Vimaco, who hands it off to his defenseman. Huskies break into the zone, and there was a offsides or a penalty right at the blue line. Looks like it's a penalty assessed to Turnbull. So we'll have four-on-four four hockey for the next minute and 44 seconds. Terriers will end up with a 16-second power play, 13-39 remaining. Yeah, and we talked about last time we had a broadcast in the BC game about how disciplined the Terriers have been on the penalty kill this year. There's another situation. They're not not really giving UConn anything, not giving them any time and space, and just 10 seconds into that power play, they already got a four-on-four -four opportunity. Terriers win the faceoff, controlled by Master Simone, who sends it to the point to Fensori. Fensori will cross D to D pass to McCarthy, who sends it all the way down in deep. Fought for in the corner by the Terriers. Looks like that's O'Brien. Now handed off to Master Simone, tries to hand it off to Fensori, but turns the puck over, picked up there by Regali. Regali passes over the blue line. Good defense by Master Simone to make it difficult. Terriers control the puck in the defensive zone, looking for a breakout. Couldn't find Fensori. McCarthy and Fensori were leading the breakout there. Slap shot on by O'Brien. Waffle save by Vimaka. Terriers control in the neutral zone. O'Brien skating to get back on side. Here's Campolito. Campolito has Cockrell to his left. Sends it intentionally wide. Picked up on the boards. Looks like that's DeBoer. Tough to tell from this angle, but it's controlled behind the net by the Huskies. They try to create some offensive pressure of their own, finding their way into the offensive zone. Tries to hand it off for the one-timer. That pass cuts through, but is picked up at the point by the defenseman. Shot on. That one went wide or was deflected by DePlessis. Good shot there from Karashik. Fought for along the corner by Campolito and Evans. O'Brien now fighting for it with Evans in the corner. Good physical play by O'Brien. One by Howarth. Shot from the point, save. Shot from in close, point blank range on the rebound, saved by the Plessy. Good pressure here from the Huskies. Fought for behind the net by Campolito. He'll get it into the neutral zone. Here comes O'Brien and Cockrell. Cockrell turns around immediately, goes for a change. Excuse me, that was Tuck out of the box. Terriers on the power play for barely any time at all. Shot on by the Huskies, saved by the Plessy. Now picked up by the Terriers. They try to come the other way. It's Skoog with it. He has Fensori deep in the corner. Fensori picks it up now. Gets shut off there. Good hit by the Huskies. Unable to clear it out of the zone, however. Sent back into the opposite corner. Picked up now by Karashik. Still trying to get it out. Now into the defensive zone. Nifty move there by Turnbull, who sends a shot on. That one saved by DePlessis. Now fought for behind the net. Multiple players there. 
Fensori now picks it up, sends it into the neutral zone, skated up there, dumped in. Carriers will go for a change. 10.50 remaining in the first period. Huskies within the defensive zone. They send it up into the neutral zone. That one deflects, finds its way all the way behind the net of Duplessis. One by the Huskies. Good hustle there by the forward to get the puck. And here come the Terriers of the other way. Jarman gets knocked down. No call. Peterson playing physical in the corner, unable to control the puck. Sent back into the defensive zone of the Huskies. They send it into the neutral zone. Breaking into the line. Good play by Vlasic to head it off. Campolito helps him out. Now sent back up the ice. There's Stevens. Stevens fights for it at his own blue line. Manages to get it up to DeBoer. Now back to Stevens fighting for it with Bows. Now won by the Huskies. Sent along by Flynn. Here come the Huskies in the neutral zone. They break into the offensive zone, and it's called offsides. 9.48 remaining in the first period. That was Reese with the offensive zone tribe. Get a replay of the Karashik point blank range shot. Good save by DePlessy. We will take a quick break. Just less than 10 minutes remaining in the period. And we're back with first period play, 948 remaining between the Huskies and the Terriers. Huskies lead one nothing already after an early goal. Huskies win the face off in the neutral zone. That one sent back to Karashik. Now controlled by the Terriers in the defensive zone. They break it into the neutral zone. Don't have numbers picked up by the Huskies. Karashik with it. He sends it up the ice, finds its way across the blue line, but controlled by Cockrell in front of the bench. Fought for in a scrum in the neutral zone in front of the Terrier bench still. That one won out by the Terriers. They now control in the neutral zone looking for some offensive pressure. That one picked up by Karashik in the defensive zone. Now sent back in by Jarman, excuse me, McCarthy. Carthy and Jarman, the defensive pair for the Terriers right now. Sent over to the center of the ice to tuck, but he's unable to complete the pass. Jarman attacking now against Turnbull. That one sent across. No shot on. Here's Skoog with Tuck. Tuck controlling the puck. He breaks in. Shot on. Saved by Vamaka. Now in the corner. Fought for by Skoog. Picked up by Master Simone. Over to Jarman, to Vlasic, now sent on deep. Here come the Terriers, skating with it. Over to Jarman, shot on in traffic. That one never found its way on net. Master Simone gets headed off. Master Simone fighting for it. Picked up by the Huskies. They'll have a two-on-two -two rush here. Good hustle by the Terrier forwards to get back defensively. Pass into the slot, couldn't connect. Reese with it, sends it over. To the faceoff dot, dangled a couple of times, shot on. Don't think that ever made it to the net. Too much traffic got deflected. Picked up by the Huskies. Linnell with it. He loses it. Master Simone dumps it into the neutral zone. That one picked up by Flynn. Sent on behind the net. Picked up by Vlasic. 
sends it up to his forward. Now back over to Jarman. Jarman within an illusion zone has Corsia who four checks after the dump. Good play by the Terriers. That was Zabane to seal the puck. Gets a shot on, but it's saved by Vimaka. The Terrier is doing a good job getting some puck possession in the offensive zone, but in the defensive zone, they've been getting hounded on the four check. They've had a tough time breaking the puck out, but when they have, they've gotten some sustained pressure, some shots on goal, just need to keep getting pucks to the net here. Both cold tenders fairly busy in this one. Duplessis, the only one to have given up a goal. Stevens, Bogus, Slavsky, and Armstrong, the line for the Terriers alongside Campolito and Cade Weber. Face-off won by the Huskies in their defensive zone. Turned over. Good play by Armstrong. Fighting for it in the corner. Boguslavsky lays a hit. Unable to separate puck from man. Terriers dump it back into the neutral zone. That one finds its way into... The Terrier bench will get a stoppage here with 7.06 remaining. Face off one in the neutral zone by the Terriers. Controlled in the defensive zone by. Looks like that is Weber. Sends it all the way up the ice, played by Zabane. Sends it across to Armstrong. He has Tuck behind him. Tuck with the shot just below the faceoff dot. Gets another one off the rebound. Blocked down, shot by McCarthy. That one never found its way on net. Now good play by McCarthy to keep the puck in. Shot on from just above the faceoff dot. Juicy rebound. Good stop defensively by the Huskies to not allow a shot on the rebound. McCarthy chasing it in the corner. He gets blocked off, but it's picked up by his fellow defenseman. Now here come the Terriers the other way. Controlled by Peterson, who just dumps it off. Now pursued by Cockrell and Kaufman. Cockrell covering. Now here come the Huskies the other way. In the neutral zone, they dump it in. That one finds its way all the way out of the rink. We'll get a stoppage here. 602 remaining in the first period. Face off in the neutral zone. Datcom, Schlein, and Tverberg. Junior and two freshmen out for the Huskies. Face off center ice. Kaufman loses the faceoff. One there, I believe, by Schlain. Handled in the neutral zone now by the Huskies. Clean zone entry there. Shot on, saved by DePlessy, and he'll freeze. That's your boy Kuznetsov with the shot on goal there. Kuznetsov, the sophomore, one of... Four active sophomore defensemen for the Huskies today. And we will take a quick break with 549 remaining in the first period. UConn maintains their early 1-0 lead. We'll see you in a few minutes.
And we're back with first period action between the UConn Huskies and Boston University Terriers. Face off in the Terrier defensive zone, won by the Huskies. Controlled at the point by Kuznetsov, who passes it up to his forward. Shot on, goes wide. Master Simone controls. Now turns it over, shot on, but that one never found its way on net. Shot on from the point by Karashik. That one sent away by Duplessy. Good blocker save by him. That one knocks down with the hand by McCarthy. That will be a hand pass as it was picked up by Skoog immediately after. We'll get a face off in the defensive zone of the Terriers. Face off one by the Terriers. Good job by Skoog there, but it's controlled by the Huskies. McCarthy steals it. Pass into the middle of the slot and saved by DePlessy. Wide open shot there for the Huskies and a good job by DePlessy to be in proper positioning and react. Controlled in the defensive zone by the Huskies. Here they come. Now into the neutral zone across the red line. Now into the offensive zone. Shot on there. Saved by DePlessy. Good job by Linnell to get the wrist shot on net. Just under five minutes remaining in this first period. On that last play, you saw Johnny Evans get wide open in front of the net. Generate a good scoring chance. I think UConn so far done a better job of creating openings and getting grade A scoring chances. But BU has been carrying the play in terms of getting pucks to the net early on. Face off one by the Terriers and finds its way into the Terrier bench. Got a face off here. Face off one by the Terriers in the defensive zone. Controlled in the corner by the Huskies. They send it back across to the other side of the ice on the half wall. Now that shot from the point deflected multiple times. The plus he gets run into, but manages to stay on his feet. Still traffic ahead of there. Puck finds its way out to the half wall. There's going to be a delayed call on the Terriers. Terriers will, and, and they score. Uh -huh. Terriers with the delayed call. Flynn with a beautiful cross crease pass. Not quite sure who scored that. Looks like it was Regali, the senior center on the fourth line. So the Terriers take another penalty, and this time it bites them. 428 remaining, and UConn already leads 2 nothing. Yeah, they're going to find themselves in an early, early hole. That one went off the skate of Cade Weber. It was, looked like it was intended to be a pass, and Weber just unfortunately hits the back of his skate and goes – in the corner and just pass the right pad to Plessy. Quite literally inches away from not going in. Was a little bit of contact between the forward and De Plessy right in front of the net. And would you look at this? The Terriers are still on the power play or penalty kill. That is Corsia with the penalty. So with 14-10 remaining in the period, UConn is on the power play, even though they did just score a goal. Controlled in the offensive zone by the Huskies. Now up at the point held by Evans. Evans sends it down to the faceoff dot, back up to Evans at the point, hands it off to the top of the faceoff dot, back to Evans. Evans waits, one-time shot. That one blocked away by Cockrell. Good job by the senior captain for the Terriers. Five points in six games this year. Matches his total in 18 games last year. Zone entry by the Huskies here. Fought along the half wall. Cleared out by the Terriers. 50 seconds remaining on the power play for the Huskies. Played by Vimaka behind the net. He waits with it, sends it along after pressure from Master Simone. Master Simone four checking here, still in the defensive zone. Good 20 seconds is going to end up running off before the Huskies even find their way into the neutral zone. Fought off 
Good job by Armstrong there. Turnover now picked up in the defensive zone by the Huskies. They send it back up now dumped in from the blue line. Puck played behind the net by Weber who fights with Schlain. Now that one sent up and along the boards, then sent back down into the corner. Finds its way to Flynn at the point. Great hand-eye coordination to send the pass along there, but too many tic-tac-toes, unable to get a shot on. Flynn with it. Over to the face-off dot. Penalty over for the Terriers. Sent down low. Shot on. That one goes wide and now enters the neutral zone. Picked up in the defensive zone by the Huskies. They have it at the blue line. They try to get it in, but a good job by the Terriers to shut that one off. McCarthy sends it back up the ice. Now picked up by the Huskies in the neutral zone. That's Karashik. Karashik skates with it into the offensive zone. You know, he has it in the corner, gets shut off there, manages to send it around. Still controlled by the Huskies here. Fought for long, just below the faceoff dot. That's Robbins with it. Now it's along the half wall. That one finds its way up to the point to Kuznetsov, who sends a shot on that goes, I believe that deflected off of a terrier and up and out of play. Minute 37 remaining in the first period. We'll get a face off to the right of Vinny Duplessis. Duplessis 3 0 with a 0 6 7 goals against average this year, 9 7 4 save percentage. Face off one by the Huskies, sent up to the point, shot sent all the way around. Wheeler with it now for the Huskies. He skates with it in the defensive zone behind the net. Holds, sends it up to Reese. Reese, the seventh defenseman for the Huskies today. Tears opting to suit up a 13th forward. Now behind the net, held by the Huskies. That's Kondalik with it. He sends it up to the uh, flying Wheeler. Wheeler has it now behind the net. Turned over, picked up by the Terriers coming the other way. They'll have a three-on-two if they can hurry. Cockrell sends it in the middle of the ice. Shot over to O'Brien, who scores! Beautiful move with zero space by Jay O'Brien. Gets the puck in the slot, manages to find his way to the backhand and put it home, and he cuts the Husky lead to 2-1 to one with 51 seconds remaining in the first period. Great job by Jay O'Brien there to put home his seventh goal of the season. That's 11 points total in 11 games. And it, as of right now, looks like the Terriers made a great decision in recruiting him over from Providence College, where in 25 games, he netted just five points. Controlled in the defensive zone by the Huskies, now intercepted by the Terriers. Master Smoney with it. He shoots, deflected, but saved by Vamaka. Now in the corner, fought for, picked up by Master Smoney, sends it along to Fensori, who sends it on. That one gets deflected wide, picked up behind the net by the Terriers. Sent along the half wall. Here come the Huskies the other way. Played behind the net by DePlessy. Just seven seconds remaining in the period. That one deflects all the way up and out into the Terrier bench. That's the third time this period that we've had a stoppage because of a puck finding its way onto the Terrier bench. 3.7 seconds remaining. Armstrong, Stevens, and Bogus Slavsky, the forwards for the Terriers. Oh, excuse me. Armstrong, Master Simone. Cade Weber, the defenseman. Looks like Zibane, so really just a mixture of players here. Kondalik loses the faceoff to Zibane, but quick shot on by, looks like that was Evans. That one gets saved, and the period ends. So at the end of one, University of Connecticut Huskies with the surprising two to one lead. Terriers with a late goal in the final minute of the first period managed to cut down the lead, but are finding themselves behind nonetheless. UConn Huskies two, Terriers one.
15 minute break for the first intermission. We'll be back in a few.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to second period action between the University of Connecticut Huskies and Boston University Terriers. I'm Seth Hellman. Owen Gund will be back with us in a minute. He's experiencing some technical difficulties. Second period about to start. Terriers losing the shots battle as well, 15 to 11. Been fairly even other than that offensively, of course, the scoreboard shows that the Huskies have the advantage, but both teams have been getting quality chances all game long. Last goal came with 50 seconds remaining in the first period on a nifty goal from Jay O'Brien. He, Cockrell, and Kaufman start for the Terriers here. Face-off won by Schlain alongside Gatcom and Verberg, whose Netsov controls in the defensive zone sends it up to Gatcom. Fights for it alongside the Terrier bench. Terriers going left to right this period. Fought for in the neutral zone, won by Gatcomb. Gatcomb tries to hand it off to Schlain, finds it all the way along the half wall, picked up there by the Terriers who come the other way. Sent over to Cockrell on the close side boards. He loses it into the, neutral, into the offensive zone. Fought for by O'Brien, picked up by Kaufman. Bounces off the hit, sends it up to the point to McCarthy, hands it off, DDD pass, shot on, saved by Vamaka. That one knocks down by Fensori at the point. He skates in deep, still going with it. We got a whistle here behind the net as the Huskies gained possession. Not sure what the call is there. Could be a penalty. Don't know why else the play would have stopped. Maybe got played with a high stick. 1902 remaining. Terriers will have a face-off in the offensive zone. It's Tuck Skoog and Master Simone against Turnball, or Turnbull, Condalic, and Evans. Looks like Berger and Spetz are the defensive pairing for. The Huskies. Terriers win the faceoff, drop back into the neutral zone. That one gets dumped in at the red line by McCarthy. Here come the Huskies the other way. They lose it in the neutral zone. McCarthy picks it up. He dumps it off for Master Simone. Master Simone tries to feather it in, manages to get it all the way behind the net. That one's played by Kondalik. Sent up to Fensori at the point. He sends a shot on. That one knocked down by Vamaka right into the gut. He'll freeze 18-34 remaining in the second period. Terriers looking strong in this first minute and a half. Face off one by the Huskies, and they control the neutral zone. That one picked up by Campolito. And now Weber with it. That one gets dumped all the way into the Husky defensive zone. They try to send it up to the neutral zone. Good intercept there by Peterson, who sends it in deep. Still in the def offensive zone here. Slap shot from Campolito. That one goes high and right. Puck still in the zone here. Fought by Peterson. Zabane now fighting in the corner. Peterson lost his stick, but picked it right back up again. That one cleared out. Good play by Linnell to feather it past the defenseman for the Terriers. Terriers controlling the offense in the neutral zone now, dump it into the offensive zone. Icing is called. Looks like the race was tied to me, but as we get the replay here, good deflection by Robbins. That one on the shot by Campolito. The Maca got a piece of it as well, hit off the crossbar and went up and deflected out, stayed in play. Face off won by the Huskies, controlled at the point by Wheeler, who sends it back around. Fought for in the corner. Good work by Zabane to get it out. One at the point. That one shot in. That looked like Karashik, but the Terriers control here. Three on two. Pass to the middle of the ice, then comes wheeling around, should get a penalty here, and Boguslavski goes attacking 
the Husky defender looks like Sam Stevens got rocked. I saw the helmet go flying up and he is down in a heap on the ice. Looks like that was Berger with the hit, and Bogoslavsky got up in a fury. I don't blame him either. That was Zibane who got hit. Not Stevens, as I mentioned earlier. He is sitting up right now, wincing, getting talked to by the Terrier training staff. As we get the replay here, he had tried to fake a pass into the slot and wheeled it around, got hit blindside directly in the back. Bogoslavsky immediately took exception to that, rightfully so. Referees are reviewing. Can't imagine this is going to take too long. Should be a pretty clear hit. Referees now discussing with Cockrell and Karashik. So the hit was Howarth, it looks like, number 29. Sent the helmet flying off of Zabani's head. Referees explaining clearly to Karashik what's going on. I, I can't imagine this is anything other than a five-minute major penalty considering how calm Cockrell is. As we get a replay zoomed in here, I mean, the, the hit goes directly to the numbers on the back of Zabane's jersey. That's, that's going to be a five-minute if I've ever seen one. I'm back here now, Seth. I'm just seeing the hit. It looks like a hit from behind. He catches him. We're in the numbers, uh, which is what every coach tells you in youth hockey not to do. You see somebody's numbers, you don't touch them. And uh, this one goes right in the numbers. Uh, and Zabana shaking up from it, obviously. And I don't blame this Terriers team for being being upset about that hit at all. So it Howarth like with the gone. game misconduct, that's official, slams his stick up against the metal post. Can understand being frustrated, but that's nothing but his own fault. Zbane was at the faceoff dot, turns to take the shot. Howarth skated all the way from the top of the faceoff circle with the numbers facing directly towards him and laid on the hit. Zbane's helmet pops off. His head makes contact with the ice. Couldn't tell if his head made contact with the boards. That's where he ended up, was up against the board. So hopefully he ends up being okay and is able to continue. Whether or not that's in this game is to be determined, but hopefully he'll be back for whenever the Terriers' next game ends up being. Now this now this Terrier power play, now it's their chance to get to work, right? It's this top unit that has, has wreaked habit re recently with O'Brien and Skoog and Cockrell ever since Cockrell's come back. Um, Linnell serving the penalty five minute major given to Howarth Terriers win the face off but now lose it into the neutral zone skate back into the safety of their defensive zone McCarthy over to Fensori Fensori breaks in has O'Brien cutting towards the net decides to move it back over to McCarthy at the point sends it over to Skoog, now to Fensori at the point, back to Skoog at the face-off dot, to Fensori at the point, to Skoog at the face-off dot. He sends it low, shot on by O'Brien, one-timer. Couple of opportunities there for the Terriers, but the Huskies clear. 418 remaining on the power play. 1640 remaining in the second period. Here come the Terriers. Bit of a half dump there. Didn't quite make it all the way in, but the Terriers control. That's McCarthy at the point. He sends it along deep. Fought for along the half wall and cleared out almost by the Huskies. And then on the second attempt, they get it out. That one deflected back in the Husky zone and cleared all the way down, played by DePlessy. DePlessy hands the puck off there to Fensori, who dumps it up the ice. 
Here come the Terriers the other way. Shot on, saved by Vimaka. That one popped up. Vimaka unable to cover it. Vlasic keeps it in at the point. Pass sent across, deflected. Now held by Master Simone. He sends it down low to Tuck. Tuck waits. Sends it over to DeBoer. Now over to Master Simone to Vlasic at the point. To Master Simone at the top of the faceoff circle. He shoots one on in traffic. Tuck jams for it. And Vamaka somehow keeps that out of the net. Zabane back out on the ice for the Terriers right now. So that's a good sign to see. 15-34 remaining in the second period. 3.08 left on the five-minute major penalty. Vamaka standing on his head to keep this game a 2-1 to lead for his Huskies. And indeed, it's Vamaka standing up. But this Terriers team doing a nice job on the power play. Cycling, switching places, creating shot opportunities, getting traffic in front of the net. So we see Tuck had a couple rebounds on that play, but Vimaki really able to stick the pad out and not really give him anything. Some unbelievable athleticism as Vimaka was not just in a full split, but had his legs out in front of him as well. I mean, that is that's flexibility at its finest there. And he, you just see his head on the replay, just kind of flop back as he lies down, absolutely exhausted. I mean, he made four saves there as the Huskies clear the puck out of the zone, picked up by the Terriers. They find it back into the defensive zone. That one cleared back down by the Huskies, 250 remaining in the power play. Vlasic has it behind the net. He skates up and out into the neutral zone. Pass behind Peterson. They turn it over. Here come the Huskies. Attempt on a shot by Gatcomb, but unable to do anything with it. Here come the Terriers the other way. They get a clean entry. Now Peterson with it at the top of the faceoff circle. He tries to get it over to Vlasic at the point. Huskies are going to have a breakaway, but Vlasic intercepts the pass. Great job by him. And Terriers get called for the offsides. Oh, they don't get called for the offsides. Excuse me. I thought that they would have whistled that one down, but apparently no Terriers control it in the defensive zone. Here's Vlasic skating with it is Fensori. Fensori breaks in, waits, looks for a man, tries to send it in. That one gets deflected and clear down to two minutes left on the five minute major 14, 23 remaining in the period. Here comes McCarthy. He sends up Fensori. Now that one dumped in by Cockrell. Played by the Huskies, they managed to dump it out again. Now McCarthy plays it right at the faceoff dot in the defensive zone. He outlet passes it off to his left. That one sent in big hit in the neutral zone, but Cockrell manages to stay up on his feet. Huskies clear again, minute 30 remaining in the power play. Terriers unable to get much going ever since the amazing split saves from the Maca. Good penalty killing here from the Huskies. Terriers break into the zone. They try to get something going. Pass all the way back to the point. We get a whistle. And Jay O'Brien is going to go to the box for goaltender interference. He went hard at the net, as he often does. Made direct contact with Vimaka. O'Brien not happy with the call. Complaining to the referees. Minute 15 remaining on the power play. So we'll end up getting minute 15 of four-on-four hockey. And then the Huskies will end up with 45 seconds of the power play with 1341 remaining in the second period. O'Brien shaking his head in disbelief. Not what you want to see if you'd be used to seeing your top goal scorer go off. As we see him driving to the net here, he kind of catches the pad of, a- of the Yukon goaltender and Tough call there for the Terriers. Yeah, Huskies win the faceoff, get a shot on quick there by Kondalik, controlled in the corner by the Huskies, and on that O'Brien penalty, it looked like he was going for the breakout as this puck gets deflected up out of play by the Terriers in the defensive zone. We'll get a faceoff to the right of Duplessis. O'Brien was driving to the net, would have had a wide open one-time shovel. Looked like he kind of had a stick in his back, tried to pull up and was just unable to move around the Maca, made a little bit of contact. 
Kondalik wins the face off here, then loses the puck. Vlasic has it behind the net for the Terriers. He waits with it. 13 20 remaining in the second period. Turned over in the defensive zone and great save by Duplessis. That puck deflects up out of play. Pass by Vlasic got intercepted. And it looked like Flynn, if I'm not mistaken, ended up getting a beautiful opportunity. I'm correct. It was Flynn. He tried to go short side blocker, but great job by DePlessy to react and make the save. Face off one by the Terriers. Here they come. That's McCarthy. McCarthy trying to get it to Boguslavsky. That puck deflects off of the skate of Evans. Terriers control. That's Weber with it. He skates it into the neutral zone, sends it across the ice to Boguslavsky. Boguslavsky on Flynn. Flynn takes the puck, sliding Terrier, goes through the offensive zone. Now picked up by Evans, dumps it off to Flynn. Now in the corner, Flynn trying to get the one-time opportunity in front of the net and does not connect on the pass. Weber dumps it in, goes off for a change. Boguslavsky on the forecheck here. He hits Flynn behind the net. Now played. Good job by Corsia on the forecheck. Now Stevens out for the Terriers. Good play by Vlasic to head off the attack. 44 second power play now for UConn. Corsia, Vlasic, Jarman, Stevens, the penalty killing crew for the Terriers. Penalty kill been strong for the Terriers all year long as the slap shot gets deflected and Vlasic clears it all the way down the ice. Cockrell, McCarthy, will hop on for the Terriers. Here come the Huskies the other way. They send it behind the net, picked up there by McCarthy. He sends it to Vlasic. Vlasic sends it all the way around the boards, takes an awkward kick, finds his way out of the zone. Looks like Karashik tried to push it back in, but was offsides. Penalty now over, back to even strength. So the Terriers unable to capitalize on the five minute major penalty Cockrell now dangling into the zone, unable to do anything. Kaufman sends a shot on that one saved by Vimaka picked up in the corner by the Huskies set up in front of the offensive into the defensive zone of the Terriers in front of the Terrier bench, big hit up along the boards by the Huskies Terrier player gets right back up. Kaufman with the four check here. Played by Karashik. He sends it up along the half wall. Now picked up in the neutral zone by UConn. That one bumps up into the air. Almost ended up into the bench of the Huskies. They now control it in the neutral zone. Dumped in at the red line. Played by DePlessy. Looking for a man. Tried to find, looks like that was Jarman. Now picked up by Tuck in the neutral zone. He tries to send it up. To Master Simone, who dumps it along. Now picked up by the Huskies. They'll come the other way. Good pass by Regali. Now here they come. Wide open opportunity shot on. Saved by Duplessis. Robbins with the one on O opportunity on a great pass. Unable to put it home. Huskies still control up along the point here. Slap shot on. That one doesn't find its way on net. Now played by Campolito. He falls over. Husky player falls over him. This one jammed out in front. Looks like it's frozen by DePlessy. Things getting a little bit chippy. We're halfway through the second period, halfway through the game. UConn still leads two to one, and we'll take our first break as we get the replay of the big hit in the neutral zone by Capone on Master Simone. Didn't phase Master Simone, though. We'll see you in a few minutes.
And we're back with second period action between the Boston University Terriers and the UConn Huskies. Huskies lead 2-1. to one. They have a face-off in the offensive zone. One here by the Terriers, controlled by McCarthy. McCarthy loses the puck. Shot on from point blank range. Now another one. That one goes off the side of the net after the initial was saved by DePlessy. Now controlled at the point by the Huskies. Now fought for behind the net by Turnbull. Picked up by the Terriers. They dump it in the neutral zone. Here comes Corsia. He manages to get it all the way into the corner. Fights for it with the Husky defenseman. Now controlled along the half wall by the Huskies. Good hit there, but Weber unable to hold it in the neutral zone. Good intercept by Campolito. Here come the Terriers the other way, and we get a whistle. Play blown dead. Looks like the net might have come off based off of what I saw before the camera moved, and it did come off, so they had to blow the play dead. A little bit odd that they called that play dead while the Terriers had the puck in neutral zone. Normally, that'd be something you would see if it was being controlled by the Huskies there, but face off one in the neutral zone by the Huskies, shot on, saved by DePlessy. Stevens whacking at it in the neutral zone. He sends it all the way in deep behind the net, played by Karashik, sent up to DeBoer. Now picked up by Schlain. Schlain dangles around Fensori, played over to Weber. Now Weber fighting for it. Stevens back there with him. Picked up by Fensori. Fensori tries to send it up to DeBoer. DeBoer chasing it. Picked up now in the defensive zone by the Huskies. They send a long top line coming out now. It's still Armstrong on the left wing, but here comes Kaufman. He shoots. Save initially by Vimaka. He was very far out in his net. Slap shot from the point by Jarman. Deflected off of a couple of bodies. Goes wide. Campolito keeps it in, now sent along the half wall, picked up by Jarman on the pinch. Now played behind the net by O'Brien, excuse me, Armstrong. He hands it off to Jarman, sends it across to Campolito, slap shot saved by Vimaka. Now Cockrell plays it in the corner alongside Kaufman. Good hustle by O'Brien to try and shut off the puck in the far corner, but he's unable to. That one leaks out all the way into the Terrier defensive zone. Jarman, DDD pass to Campolito. Campolito sends it up into the neutral zone, trying to find O'Brien. Cockrell picks it up, dumps it in. They'll go off for a change. Kaufman pursues against Reese. Huskies find it in the neutral zone, but it's picked up by McCarthy. He comes the other way, breaks into the offensive zone, has Skoog, skates it behind the net, picked up by the Huskies there. Now fought for in the corner by Tuck. Tuck has it now, hands it off to the point, but unable to connect on the pass to McCarthy. Now Fensori dumps it further, picked up at the blue line. And no offsides called, skated in by the Terriers. Backhand shot on, saved by Vimaka. 707 remaining in the second period. UConn still leads two to one. Terriers are winning the shot battle now. We'll take another break. See you in a few. And we're back with second period action between the Yukon Huskies and Boston University Terriers. Huskies lead two to one off of two early goals. Haven't seen a goal for the past 14 minutes or so. 14 or so minutes of game action, I should qualify there. 
Vamaka, the junior goalie, with 18 saves for the Huskies. Duplessis with 15 saves on 17 shots for the Terriers. Face off won by the Huskies, now picked up in the neutral zone by Vlasic. Vlasic loses it. Now Kondalik takes it, picked up now by McCarthy. Now intercepted by Kondalik at the blue line. Huskies come the other way. They try to send it out in the middle of the ice. Kondalik has it next to the faceoff dot, picked up there by Vlasic. Here come the Terriers in the neutral zone. Send it up to Bogoslavsky. He gets the entry, gets called for an offsides. It's pretty clearly the right call. Far left side entry had a couple of feet past. Thomas Vamaka leads the Hockey East in saves with 515, has played every single minute for the UConn Huskies so far this year. They do have three goalies dressed. It does appear that the Terriers... Only have Duplessis today. Not sure what's going on there. Controlled in the corner by the Terriers in the offensive zone. Here come the Huskies the other way. Good pinch by Weber to send it back into the offensive zone. DeBoer pressuring on the forecheck. Picked up in the neutral zone by Schlain. He loses it to Weber, who sends it across to Fensori. Fensori with it skates. Sends it across, picked up now by DeBoer. Nifty backhand pass, but Corsia is called for the offside. It was a good try by DeBoer. Terriers find themselves ranked 11th in the country by most counts. The Terrier lineup today says 11 slash 12. Face-off won by the Huskies. That's Regali over O'Brien. Huskies send it up from the neutral zone off the boards, indirect all the way into the Terrier zone, 548 remaining in the second period. They control along the half wall, shot on, saved by DePlessis. Good stick to push it away from Robbins. Picked up by the Terriers in the defensive zone. Jarman, he tries to send it up to DeBoer. DeBoer loses it in his skates, finds it. Now skates into the neutral zone. He crosses the blue line, has Cockrell all the way to his right. Backhands one. That one goes wide. Now picked up by Cockrell in the offensive zone. Cockrell dumps it in. Now it's pursued by Kaufman. Huskies control. They dump it all the way down. That one will go for an icing with 5.06 remaining in the period. The Terriers here really starting to generate some more opportunities as they find themselves behind by just one. And Vamaka, though, is, has really been standing tall and showing off his flexibility in net for, for UConn. Kondalik to take the face off for the Huskies. Scoo to take the face off for the Terriers, he has Tuck to his left, Mash Simone to his right. McCarthy and Vlasic, the defensive pairing, face off one by the Huskies, held in the neutral zone by Skoog, now passes it to McCarthy. McCarthy sends it up ice to Tuck. Tuck dumps it in, played by Mash Simone along the half wall. Here come the Huskies the other way. That's Evans with it. He hands it off to Turnbull. Turnbull unable to get it to Kondalik. Now picked up by Tuck, who skates it into the neutral zone, held in at the blue line. Now Evans passes in the middle of the ice, unable to get a shot on, but a good opportunity there. Looked like Evans looking for Turnbull there. And Terriers get called for the icing with 430 remaining. Berger, part of the defensive pair for the Huskies. He steps off of the ice. Schlain, Gatcom, and Tverberg alongside Kuznetsov and Karashik. And the battle of the 32s is won by Schlain over Skoog. Skoog nails Schlain up against the boards. Good hit by him. 
and he braces himself. Schlein braces himself up against the boards, controlling the puck, manages to get it to Kuznetsov, who sends it over to Karashik, who sends a shot on that went wide, might have caught the leg of Duplessis. Wheeled back around, finds his way back up to Karashik at the point. He sends it in deep to the corner, picked up by Schlein. Now McCarthy with it. McCarthy sending it up, played by Gatcomb. Now at the point to get home, he takes a shot. That one never found its way on that. Scoo clears it out, unable to get it out of the neutral zone. Now here come the Huskies with an interesting opportunity. Ops for the pass, and that one bounces all the way over to the half wall. Huskies still control. Hand it off to Flynn outside the faceoff dot. He skates it behind the net looking for a man. Loses the puck briefly, picks it back up again, sends it up to the point. Waiting. Now controlled in the corner. Now behind the net. Tries the Michigan. We're going to get a delayed call here. You always, I, I got to say, you always love to see the Michigan move in a college game. It's not every day someone will try that. Well, it was clearly not successful as the, uh, as the Terriers were able to freeze the puck. But it's certainly a move, and it's nice when it gets pulled off. But un- unable to get it done there. Terriers will be shorthanded on a cross-checking minor. 3.15 remaining in the second period. Huskies lead 2-1. to one. And we're back with late second period action between the Huskies and the Terriers. Alex Vlasic getting called for the cross-checking minor. Terriers end up on the penalty kill as we get a replay of the attempt of the Michigan. Looks like that was Tverberg that tried for it. Face-off won by the Huskies and controlled at the point. Sent down to the face-off dot. Back up to the point held there by Evans. Evans sends it down for the one-timer. Knocked away by DePlessy. Picked up at the point again. Sent down by Evans. Back up to the point. Evans, one-time shot. That one deflected multiple times. Cockrell picks it up now. He skates into the neutral zone. Looking for an opportunity. Dangles once or twice. He loses an edge. Picked up in the corner by Kaufman. He'll be content to just stay there. Try and kill a few seconds off. He's got Three guys attacking and a fourth waiting. Huskies managed to pick up the puck, dump it all the way down the ice to Turnbull, sends it along the half wall from the corner. Kondalik with it now. Two Terrier defensemen trying to attack. That's Peterson and Campolito. They spets with it at the point. Lone freshman defenseman for the Huskies sent across to Evans. Evans dumps it down to the faceoff dot. One time opportunity missed there, and they clear it on themselves all the way down the ice. Corsia and Stevens out for the Terriers now, held behind the net by Evans. Evans acting as a defenseman on this power play for the Huskies. It's their first line right wing. Shut down at the blue line by the Terriers. Good play by Corsia. He manages to get it all the way down in front of the net. Berger dumps it in from the red line. 24 seconds remaining on the power play. McCarthy fighting for it. Big hit on Weber. Terriers will clear again. It usually takes about 15 to 20 seconds to get into the zone. Huskies trying to get one last rush. I Don't think they'll get it as they have to peel back. Intercepted by Kaufman. Hands it off to Cockrell. Cockrell to Kaufman in front of the net. A little bit of traffic. Penalty over. Minute 10 remaining. Shot on by McCarthy. That one bounced 
wide and then in behind the net. We got a stoppage here. Not sure what for. Puck might have bounced out of play. Minute but five we, remaining. We were talking about uh, just now, we were talking about the Terriers being disciplined on the penalty kill. It's something we've been talking about. Something that stood out there, the quick line changes there. They went through three groups of forward and just that single penalty kill. And they're showcasing their depth here, their, their ability to kill, kill things off here. And that's one of the big reasons why they've been so successful this year so far. Terriers certainly doing a good job of staying well positioned this year, something they struggled with last year on the penalty kill. Terriers not allowing a single shot on that last penalty kill. O'Brien wins the faceoff, brings it into the neutral zone, that, or into the offensive zone, then loses it. We're going to get a stoppage with a minute remaining and a faceoff in the offensive zone for the Terriers. O'Brien with Armstrong and not sure who his other winger is right now. Of course, Cockrell spending a few minutes on the penalty kill. Looks like the other winger is Peterson. Fensorian Vlasic, the defensive pairing, controlled by the Huskies in the defensive zone. Good job by Vlasic to push it back up. O'Brien chasing on Karashik. Now O'Brien has it along the half wall. He waits with it, looks for a cutter, has Peterson who dangles in front of the net but loses the puck, unable to get a shot on. 30 seconds remaining in the second period. Terriers control in the neutral zone. Here comes Vlasic. He breaks into the zone. He sends it around deep, chased by O'Brien. Gets hit a little bit by Kuznetsov. Falls to his knee, gets right back up. Fought four in the corner, 15 seconds remaining. Picked up by Peterson, who sends a hope and a prayer on net. Now Finsori picks it up at the blue line, shot in by Vlasic. I don't think he was aware of how little time was left as he just kind of muffined it wide. And time will expire as they fight for the puck in the corner. Score stays the same in the second period. UConn still leads 2-1. to one. Take about a 15-minute break. And we will see you for third period hockey between the Boston University Terriers and the University of Connecticut Huskies. We'll see you in a few.
Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to this broadcast of Boston University Terrier Hockey on WTBU Sports. I'm Seth Hellman, joined by Owen Gund. The Terriers trail 2-1, to one, but lead 22-21 to 21 in the shots category. Owen, what are you looking for from the Terriers this period for them to get the win? I think they just need to get more bodies in front of the net, Seth. I think that they've done a good job getting pucks to the net, as you mentioned, but cashing in on those rebound traffics, making a little, making a little bit harder in front of the net uh, against a hot goaltender right now for UConn. That's what I'm looking for if I'm the Terriers. Terriers are the last team to score a goal after two early goals scored by the Huskies. Last goal scored was by Jay O'Brien in the final minute of the first period. Both teams had power plays in the second. Neither was able to convert. Terriers had a five minute, the last minute and uh, 15, I believe, or so was four on four due to a penalty from Jay O'Brien. Had a couple of really good opportunities, a couple of extremely athletic, flexible saves by Vamaka, kept the lead at two to one for UConn. Face off in the neutral zone, won by the Huskies, but controlled by Cockrell, who dumps it in, and he is flying out of the gate here. Picked up by O'Brien in the corner. Now the Huskies have it. They send it back around the half wall, picked up and held at the point. Excuse me, that one threaded its way through the stick of Vlasic, finds its way back into the offense zone. Good four checking by the Terriers to pick up the puck. O'Brien sends it in deep. That one picked up by Tuck. Tuck pushes off a defender, sent around, played by Jarman on the half wall. Good pinch by him. He's still holding where the puck is. Skoog and Tuck on the ice now. Here's Master Simone. Now the Huskies take the puck. They skate it into the offensive zone. That one picked up now by Jarman over to McCarthy. Sends it up to Skoog. Skoog looking for a man in the neutral zone. Manages to get it up to Tuck, who dumps it in on the second attempt. That one took a funny bounce off the wall. Gets played by McCarthy in the corner. Now Tuck with it. Sends it out in front to Skoog, who tries the backhand. Unable to put it home. Tries to get the rebound home. That one unable to go as well. Good job by Vamaka to somehow make the save on that one. Now Duplessy makes the aggressive play down on the other end and manages to freeze the puck. Just a minute 24 into the third period, already seeing some good chances for the Terriers. But that's what we're looking for here. It's it's all about rebounds in front of the net. Scoog's scoo has got to stay hard on that one and, and find a way to bury it because these second chance opportunities are coming from the Terriers. They just have to cash in. Vamaka was lying pretty much flat on his back. Face off one in the defensive zone by the Terriers. It's the Corsia Zabane Peterson line. It looks like it's jumbled up and it's got Corsia Zabane and Boguslavsky. Uh, puck controlled in the defensive zone by the Huskies. They dump it down. That's played by Fensori, who sends up Corsia. Corsia feathers it through. Fought for by Boguslavsky. Now Peterson on the ice for the Terriers. Vlasic picks it up in the neutral zone. He tries to send it across to Peterson, but gets hit as he passes it. Referee takes a tumble. Actually, that was the linesman. That one sent all the way down the ice, played behind the net by DePlessy. Picked up by the Huskies. Terriers get it back. Now the Huskies control again in their offensive zone in the corner, fought by Vlasic. Now they get the puck out into the slot shot that went wide. Played along half wall by DeBoer. He sends it down along behind the net to Vlasic. Vlasic skating with it. He sends it up to the blue line that one gets pushed in stevens chasing it now hit by peterson fensori tried to go flying in i mean he almost got an elbow to the face there 
puck goes flying up out of play. We're going to get a penalty, I believe. Referee's arm is up. Maybe he's just signaling for changes. I think I'm Keep an eye on there. Story there. He, he looked like he took, took one in the head, and he was slow to go over to the bench. Tverberg is going into the penalty box here for the Huskies. And I'm pretty sure it is on that play that you just mentioned where Fensori took an elbow to the head. Elbow is pretty clearly up there, as I mentioned, as it happened. Terriers find themselves on a crucial power play. Fensori is still on the ice. He is one of the two defensemen for the Terriers. Face off one by the Terriers. McCarthy to Fensori. Fensori at the point. He sends it over to Skoog. Skoog sends it low to Cockrell. Cockrell with it. Waits at the faceoff dot. Hands it off to Fensori. Takes a shot. That one deflected into the slot to O'Brien. O'Brien sends it back out to the point. Fensori takes a shot on. That one gets knocked down and cleared by the Huskies. Huskies will clear out their penalty killers. Unit stays the same for the Terriers. McCarthy with it, skates past the red line, dumps it back behind him. Here comes Fensori, who tries to dump it off to Skoog, but Skoog wasn't paying attention, couldn't connect there. Intercepted by the Huskies, they clear down the ice. Minute 16 remaining in the power play. Cockrell's changed off now. Here come the Terriers. Looks like that's O'Brien with it. He sends it up to Fensori at the point over to McCarthy. McCarthy down low to the faceoff dot. Crossing pass to O'Brien, who tips it to McCarthy. He takes a shot on, unable to put it home. Master Simone fighting for it along the half wall. He gets it down low. Master Simone gets hit off. McCarthy with the pinch. He passes it out to the middle of the ice. That one gets dumped all the way down. Pretty much everybody will change, leaving DePlessy by himself to play the puck. He does. Now controlled behind the net by Vlasic in the corner. He gets aggressively uh, forechecked by Gatcomb. Now Vlasic has it again behind the net. He waits. Here come the Terriers in the neutral zone. Get shut off at the blue line. Now they dump it in. Just 16 seconds remaining on the power play. Picked up by Tuck. Tuck, one-time opportunity to Kaufman. Kaufman unable to put it home on a great save by Vamaka. Up to the point to Vlasic. Now Vlasic sends it over to the faceoff dot. Sent down low. 2-1 power play over. Terriers still controlling in the vulnerable minute here. They just send it along the boards. And it looks like the Huskies will escape here without any damage. And here they come on the breakaway the other way. Jarman coming back, able to make the defensive play and a good save by DePlessy. 14-52 remaining in the third period. Huskies lead 2-1. to one. We'll get a face-off in the Terrier defensive zone to the right of Vinny DuPlessy. We get a replay of the beautiful pass over to Kaufman for the one-timer. And Kaufman just kept it low and on the right side. And Vimaka able to make the left leg save. Peterson will go to the box and it will be a power play for the Huskies. They win the faceoff. Shot from the point gets knocked down, cleared by Cockrell. I didn't see the penalty. Not sure where it happened. Huskies control in the neutral zone. This is Gatcomb. He loses the puck. This one gets sent down, played by Vamaka all the way out in the corner. Turns it over almost to Kaufman. Kaufman could have had Bogus Slavsky in front of the net for a wide open opportunity. First 40 seconds have gone by in the power play for the Huskies. They control right next to their net. They change out. Four of the five power play men. Spets, the freshman, stepping onto the ice now. Now the entire unit's been cleared out. Evans, who usually serves as their proxy fourth um, forward second defenseman. They dump it in. Played by Vlasic behind the net. Less than a minute remaining on the power play. Turnbull fighting for it over by Tverberg. 
sent all the way up to the point. Now Evans with it at the faceoff dot. He sends it back over to Verberg at the point, hands it off to Spets. Spets skates with it at the middle of the point. He sends it over to Verberg. Verberg back to Spets. Spets with it over to the faceoff dot. That's uh, Turnbull. Turnbull sends a shot on. That one deflects, gets dumped all the way down. 20 seconds remaining on the power play. Long outlet pass. For the Huskies, they try to send it out in front, but a great defensive play there by the Terriers to send it all the way back up and out for checking here by Stevens with just seven seconds remaining on the power play. Here comes Karashik. Karashik coming in. He hands it off to Kondalik. Power play over for the Huskies. Shot on by Kuznetsov. Deflects up and out of play. 12.48 remaining in the third period. Neither team successful on their power play opportunities this period. Well, yeah, we've seen two teams going with aggressive penalty kills here, and that's been a big part of it. Both teams having a tough time breaking out of their own zone to get their power play going to begin with. Quick break in the action here in Stores, Connecticut. University of Connecticut Huskies lead two to one. We'll see you in a few. And we're back with third period action between the UConn Huskies and Boston University Terriers. Huskies lead two to one with just over 12 minutes remaining in the period. Getting a look at junior goaltender Vomaka for the Huskies. He's played extremely well today, keeping his team in it. Terriers win the defensive zone faceoff. They're going right to left this period, 12.35 remaining. Fought for by Armstrong, but maintained at the point by Karashik. Karashik sends it in on net. That one saved by DePlessy. He had traffic out in front, managed to get a clean lane on it, saves it. You know, some goaltenders look big with all the padding, and you look at Vinny DePlessy's build, 6'1", 170, and he stands up and immediately looks extremely small as we get a second look at the one time saved by Vimaka moving from his right to his left inches from going through the five hole and inches will be the difference in this game. Of course, one of those goals scored earlier by the Huskies just made it in by inches. Cock roll with it. He hands it off to Weber in the defensive zone who sends it along the back board to McCarthy, who sends it up into the neutral zone, controlled by O'Brien, who sends it across to Cockrell. Cockrell makes the zone entrance, but gets hit at the blue line and knocked down. Three on two rush for the Huskies. They send it all the way across, unable to get a shot on there. McCarthy plays it behind the net. Now played by Cockrell all the way across to, excuse me, played by Coffin all over to Cockrell. Cockrell takes a shot on. That one deflects. He picks it up again, sends a backhander. O'Brien finds himself in the net again, it looks like, but no penalty. Not sure what happened there. He'll come off the ice. Played by Vlasic now. He sends it up into the neutral zone. Dumped in, chased by Stevens. Stevens attacking on Turnbull, I believe. Could have also been Wheeler. I believe it was Wheeler. Fought four in the corner now. Master Simone trying to get it. He has it. Has two defenders on him. Sends it all the way around to the other corner. Stevens sends it back around to Master Simone. Master Simone leaks out along the half wall, looking for a man. Elects to shoot. 
on net and Vamaka blocks it with the glove, catches it right on the chest. Almost looked like he wasn't expecting the shot there. I certainly wasn't. Good play by Master Simone to try and catch Vamaka off guard. You just get the feeling here that the Terriers have run into a hot goaltender. They've really carried the play this last period and towards the end of the second, but they haven't been able to crack Vamaka. Face off one by the Huskies, handed off over to Turnbull, but he misses the pass. We'll get an offsides called here. 1040, excuse me, an icing called here. 1042 remaining in the third period. And you mentioned the hot goaltending by Vamaka. Vamaka with a 258 goals against average this season. He's only given up one so far in this game. Obviously, basic math tells you the Terriers are going to need two more to win. So he's either going to be above his average or below and win. Face Open off taken time. here by Regali. And Skoog. Face off one by Regali. Now picked up in front of the net. Looks like that was Reese with it. Might have been Capone. This one dumped from behind the blue line, intercepted in the neutral zone by Skoog. Skoog fights for it at the blue line, tries to throw the backhand pass in. I believe we're going to get an offsides called here. Skoog and Capone getting a little bit chippy after the play is blown dead. Yatcomb steps onto the ice for the Huskies. Junior forward. It's Cockrell, O'Brien, and Kaufman alongside Vlasic and Jarman. Yatcomb, Schlein, and Verberg for the Huskies. This puck finds its way all the way behind the net, played by Vlasic. Classic hands it off to Jarman. Jarman tries to send it up over to Cockrell, but that one gets intercepted. Now played behind the net by the Huskies, sent all the way up to the point. Shot on by Gatcomb from the point. That one gets blocked down. Now picked up by Bowes. Bowes, one of four freshmen in the forward core for the Huskies. We've passed the 10 minute mark in the third period. Huskies start to change one by one as the play is held up in the corner. Now shot on from the point. Good hold by Flynn. That one gets deflected down. Now played in the far half wall. Two players take a tumble. That was Jarman and not sure who the Husky was. I think that's Turnbull. Now puck leaks out into the neutral zone with 920 remaining. Huskies still maintain possession here. Unable to get any clean shots on. Here's Kondalik. Kondalik gets knocked down, loses the puck, but it finds its way directly to Flynn in the opposite corner. Now Kondalik with it again, looking for a man. Good defensive play by O'Brien to knock the puck off. And that one looks like it got saved and deflected out of play by DePlessis. DePlessis may have been giving up two goals today. Neither one of them was a bad goal. One of them deflected off of the skate of his defenseman. The other one got deflected by the stick of a forward and or the stick of one of his defensemen. So another one, his fault. He's made a lot of good saves to keep the Terriers into this game. They just need to get the offense going. They lead the shots on goal 27 to 25, but they are trailing two to one in the game. 903 remaining in the third period. We'll be back in just a minute.
And we're back here with third period action between the UConn Huskies and Boston University Terriers. We're getting a quick little look at some fans in the stands in Connecticut. Oh, unintentional rhyme there. Nine minutes remaining in the period. Face off one by the Terriers and controlled into the defensive zone. They try to skate it up, but it's played in the defensive zone by the Huskies on the other side. DeBoer pumps it over to Jarman. Jarman tries to dump it in. Knocked down by Spets. Now fought for by Armstrong. That one finds its way all the way across to Stevens. Stevens takes a shot on, goes right into the chest of the Maca. Pretty easy save for him there. He goes for a skate. 8.33 remaining in the third period. Boguslavsky and Corsia find their way onto the ice. Alongside Peterson. Haven't seen Zabane in a while. He came back out on the ice for the power play following the big hit he took. I don't think I've seen him since. Fensori and Campolito, the defensive pair. Face off one by the Huskies. That one shot off of the stanchion. Lands in the feet of Campolito. Finds its way on the far half wall. Now passed off to Corsia. Corsia tries to dump it around. Played behind the net by Kamaka or Vimaka. Now fought four in the corner. Terriers have been hit a bit by the injury bug. No Jake Wise. No uh, Drew Camesso. And then David Ferentz is another absence. That's 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 probably the biggest absence of them all. Ferentz, the star defenseman, as we get a stoppage here. Ferentz averaging, I believe, close to three points a game. Maybe even more than that. He's been all over the place offensively and extremely strong defensively for the Terriers. In his absence, though, I will say Alex Vlasic has really stepped up. He has, absolutely. Vlasic has played very well, netting his first three goals of the season in the absence of the star defenseman. Vlasic now controls it at the point he sends a shot on. That one deflects off a few players, but it's still controlled by the terror. Send it to the slot to Master Simone. Tries to take a shot. That one blocked down by the diving I think that was Turnbull. Tough to tell. Terriers control behind the net. They send it up into the neutral zone. Now here comes Vlasic. Vlasic dekes into the zone, plays it by the faceoff dot, hands it off to Master Simone, who dekes once, twice. Now McCarthy has to skate back. There's a little bit of a two-on-one, but great hustle from Vlasic to get back into defensive positioning that one deflects wide 657 remaining in the third period terriers control behind the net classic with it he holds waiting for a breakout hands it off into the neutral zone here come the terriers the other way flying behind the net looks like that's o'brien he has been all over the place today. Now played by Cockrell in the corner. Weber also pinching very far down. O'Brien recognizing it, backs up. They're still fighting for it along the half wall. That's Kondalik and Cockrell. And they finally get it out. Good 20 seconds of board scrum there now Cockrell with it sends it out in the middle of the ice one timer scores Max Kaufman on the one time pass from Logan Cockrell in the middle of the slot puts it past Vimaka and we're tied at two with 601 remaining in the third period and we'd been talking about that line really being all over the ice this whole period great feed from Cockrell and Kaufman with the quick shot, that's what the Terriers needed, a quick one-two punch play. Bamaka not able to get across in time and a great quick release from Kaufman on that one. Flynn just overplayed it, was unable to stop the pass. And then Reese 
was unable to block the one-time opportunity, gets put home glove side. Terriers tie it up. They control in the offensive zone. They're hungry for more. Huskies take it down the other side of the ice, looking to answer. Bit of a toe drag shot on by Regali. That one saved easily by DePlessy. We'll get a face-off in the Terrier defensive zone to the glove side of DePlessy. 541 remaining from Stores, Connecticut. University of Connecticut Huskies 2, Terriers now also at 2. We'll take a break with 541 remaining. And we're back here with third period action between the Huskies and the Terriers. Terriers have just tied the game at two. They lead the shots 30 to 26 face off to the left of freshman goaltender Vinny DePlessy. Face off won by the Huskies. They send it in, try to get it on net, are unable to. 535 remaining. They play it in the corner. That one's held by Capone. Now kept in at the blue line by the Huskies. They send it down into the corner. That one gets pushed across over to DeBoer. DeBoer sends it, tries to send it across to Stevens, but that one gets knocked down and picked off. Good defensive play by Vlasic to push the puck further out away from the net. Here's Wheeler with it. Wheeler wheels it, sends it on net. That one bounces off. Good tough angle shot by him on the wraparound. Five minutes remaining. Now stepped up by the Huskies. They try the backhand in front of the net, unable to put it home. Now played by Gatcomb in his defensive zone, chased on by Deverberg. This one sent all the way across the ice into the neutral zone to Skoog. Skoog skates with it, protects the puck, is in the corner, loses it, tries to get it over to Master Simone. is unable to. The diving McCarthy keeps the puck in the zone. Now Skoog with it along the half wall. He waits, gives it off to Tuck. Now they lose the puck, 420 remaining in the third period. This one gets dumped all the way down the other end of the ice. We'll get an icing call with 412 remaining in the third period. And so if I'm the Terriers here, here's what I'm thinking. You got to get more from that, from, from your secondary lines. That O'Brien line has been awesome all over the ice and carrying the play whenever they've been out there, but they need more opportunities from, from their next groups. So that's going to be the difference in this game, their depth scoring here. And we're getting some stats here from Johnny Evans. Leaves hockey East in goals. Star junior. For the Huskies. Should have been a battle between two Hobie Baker candidates tonight. Of course, Ference, as we mentioned earlier, out with an injury. He's missed quite a few games in a row now. It's been a while since we've seen him. Getting a quick little timeout here. Not sure which team took it. And Ference is a guy that you can't quite, you, you absolutely can't replace, but with Vlasic and Fensori and these guys stepping up, the, the Terriers have, have definitely surprised with the way they've been able to stay, stay in the top of the standings with all these guys out. Cause it's not just Ference, it's, it's Comesso. They've had 
Duplessis play really well, and their their depth score, their depth play on on all areas of of the rink has been really impressive. Next man up, attitude prevalent for the Terriers. They take the face off in the defensive zone. That Scoog he loses it to Kondalik. Shot on immediately, saved by the Plessy. That one finds its way out of the zone. Here's Scoog with Master Simone to his left on the two on two. Master Simone tries to fire one on. That one deflects up and out of play. Get a face off in the zone. Scoog getting a punch from Kondalik. Things have been chippy pretty much ever since the hit on Zabane that ended up getting, I believe it was Howarth ejected from the game. Terriers luck out to have the 13th forward tonight as Skoog tries the face-off shot. Picked up by McCarthy in the neutral zone. Sent on in, played by Vimaka. Now picked up by Tuck. Good play by him to stop it from getting too much closer to the neutral zone. Master Simone with it in the corner. He gets hit by Kondalik. Gets right back up. Still fights for the puck in the corner. Now the Huskies try to get on a break the other way. 333 remaining in the third period. Vlasic fighting for it behind the net now. It's one out by Skoog. Skoog hands it off to Cockrell. Cockrell skating extremely well tonight. He hands it off into the back of the net. Picked up by the Huskies. They come the other way. Now Fensori with it. Or excuse me, I believe that's Campolito. No, I was correct the first time. It was Fensori. Puck finds its way into the neutral zone held by Kuznetsov, who sends it along. Picked up now by Cockrell. He sends it indirect, trying to find O'Brien. Now it's picked up by Kaufman in the neutral zone. He dumps it from the red line. Corsia now in on the four check. Played up to Robbins, the senior left wing. Here come the Huskies into the offensive zone. That pass gets intercepted by Bogoslavsky. Terriers coming the other way. They could have a four on two. Good defensive play there by Gatcomb to knock away the pass into the corner. Now shut off along the half wall. Here come the Huskies the other way with 2.13 remaining in the third period. And we're going to get an offsides, I believe. 213 remaining in the period. Looks like Bogoslavsky cool. going off with a penalty here. So a late penalty from Bogoslavsky will put the Huskies on the man advantage. Not what the Terriers needed. Of course, penalty kill has been strong all day long. Been strong all season long. Looks like the penalty happened in the neutral zone. Oh, we're going to get offsetting penalties. Looks like Schlain finds himself in the box as well. So we're going to have four on four hockey for just about the remainder of the third period. Controlled by Master Simone behind the net. He sends it over to Vlasic. Vlasic sends it up the ice to Stevens. Here's Stevens. Shot on. That one saved away. I believe that was from Master Simone. It was. Offsides called on the Husky zone entry. Minute 50 remaining in the third period. Should be about 13 seconds remaining in the period once the power play the four on four finishes. We're about 23 seconds into that four on three. Regali and Skoog on the face off. That one won by Regali in the neutral zone. He hands it back to Karashik. Shot on, saved by Deplessis and Frozen. 
Just seven seconds running off the clock there. We'll get a face off in the Terrier zone. Cockrell O'Brien McCarthy stepping on to the ice. Uh, Vlasic will stay out. Robbins and Regali out. Robbins fishes the puck out on the tie up. Fake shot by Karashik. He skates it out, passes out in front, saved by DePlessy, rebound, saved two, and cleared out. And here come the Terriers the other way. O'Brien trying to fish it through. O'Brien, the top 10 pick for the Flyers, I believe. Shot on by McCarthy. That one gloved it down by the Maca. UConn vehemently arguing that they should have gotten a penalty called there. Yeah, but we also saw the BU side saying that O'Brien got got slew footed or tripped. It, it looked. Uh... I would say a slew foot would be accurate if he had fallen over. He did get kicked from behind. O'Brien, the 19th overall pick in the 2018 draft, he did eventually fall over. And they did call the penalty. So the Boston University Terriers end up on the power play with a um, for the next minute and – well, it should be a minute and 17 seconds. The graphic we see right now says power play minute and five seconds. That'll be a minute and five seconds of four on three. Looks like UConn's taking a timeout. And their assistant coach explaining to them what they need to do. They do have four men out on the ice. Terriers have five. So I guess four on three, not a thing in college hockey, unless one guy from either side ends up moving back onto the bench. Oh, so we're getting five on four here? Based on the personnel that's currently standing on the ice, I'd say yes. There are some guys who I've known on occasion to stand out on the ice, even if they aren't going to be out there for the next play. But the way, the way that it looks right now, it seems as though we'd have five on four. How that works with the fact that both teams have multiple men in the box should be a four on three. And it is a four on three. It was just an extra guy standing on the ice for both teams. O'Brien unable to win the face off Karashik with it. He dumps it all the way down the ice minute 12 remaining in the game. Here comes Fensori. He hands it back off to McCarthy. Then they play or O'Brien. They play a little bit of catch there. Fensori with it at the point sends it across now back to Fensori at the point to O'Brien to Fensori. Now over to Vlasic. Vlasic hands it off to O'Brien. O'Brien skating low. Hands it off to Fensori. 40 seconds remaining. O'Brien with it in the slot. Over to the faceoff dot to Fensori. Fensori to Vlasic at the point. Vlasic with it. Fensori, one-time pass. That one gets blocked down. Great play by Vlasic with the hands. Keep it in the zone. Now here comes O'Brien skating in. Tries to deke over. Gets knocked down. And that puck gets cleared all the way down the ice, played by DePlessis. 20 seconds remaining in the period. Here comes Cockrell with speed. 15 seconds. Here he comes into the zone, looking for a man. Four on three over. We're on to five on four. McCarthy was open in the middle of the ice, and he tried to get there. DePlessis is going to skate out for this one. Good job by him, and he sends that one up off the boards, out of play. That one hit the boards behind the Terrier bench. I think we're just going to get the third period ending here. So we will go to overtime, free hockey, even though nobody paid to see this game. Well, I guess the people in Connecticut might have paid to see this game, but free hockey nonetheless, tied 2-2, third period over. We'll get a quick little break here and be back with overtime.
And we're back here with overtime between the Boston University Terriers and UConn Huskies tied at two in stores, Connecticut. Huskies scored one very early, then got a second. Terriers control, excuse me, do not control the puck. We're seeing a replay here. So two quick goals from the Huskies, then the face off, then a last minute goal by the Terriers. They have it in the offensive zone here. It's O'Brien fighting in the corner with Tuck, Kondalik, and Karashik. They're still fighting for it. Now Cockrell joins the party. He tries to bull rush his way through. He pops it out. Here come the Huskies the other way. They're going to have a two-on-one. Here they come. Shot on. Saved by DePlessy. Here come the Terriers the other way with a three-on-one. Tuck out in front of the night. He scores! Luke Tuck, the freshman from Baldwinsville, New York, Puts it home for the Terriers, completing the comeback. Three straight goals from the Terriers, just 46 seconds into overtime, and they make themselves a happy group of hockey players tonight. 3-2, Terriers win over the Huskies. And Seth, that is what you would call top shelf where mama keeps the cookies Almost a bar down snipe from Tuck there, and nothing Vermont could do about that. You just tip your hat, hat to the young freshman on that one. Vermont is certainly deserving of one of the three stars tonight. DePlessy managing to keep the team in the game after two early goals. The Terriers getting one late in the first period from O'Brien, then two in the third on answer or one in the third to tie up the game on the power play. Good one-time pass from Cockrell. And then Tuck puts it home for the Terriers. I'm Seth Hellman for Owen Gunn. Thank you for joining us here on WTBU Sports. Terriers win in overtime, 3-2. to two. Have a good night, everybody.